All right, I want to show you how to create a slideshow in Flash Catalyst. This is going to require some images that we create, and it's going to require knowing a little bit about states and pages, things like that, but I'll show you guys how that works. So let me show you what the final looks like. And this final is not extremely pretty. There's a lot of things you guys could do to dress this up, but it's functional. So if you take a look, this is out in the browser. I've got these arrows. If I click on the arrows, you'll be able to see that it actually goes back and forth between all the different pictures. And you'll see they're just sliding in. They're kind of fading in, fading out, that sort of thing. And I made them grow, you know, get smaller, get bigger. If we wanted to, we could have made it so the slideshow didn't get clipped. So you could see the pictures on either side as well. I could have put numbers down here. I could have put text. I mean, we could do anything we want. But I just want to show you the main functionality. So let me close this up. Let me get back. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put all the pictures out here. But what I want to do, guys, is we're going to do this a different way. Instead of making a bunch of pages for the slideshow, what we're going to do is we're going to make a component with sub pages. This way you guys can have this slideshow on uh, in another document or in a document and it only takes up one page. So you don't have three pages for each you know, picture or something like that. So anyway, here's how we start it. I've created a document, made it as big as I want. Let me zoom out a little bit. And it's going to fit on a you know, inside of a browser on a web page, about 960 by 400 or something like that. I'm going to import my first picture, so I'll come to File, Import. You guys can bring in just about any, you know, file type, your images, Illustrator files, Photoshop files. I'm going to bring in Photoshop files. And unfortunately, we can't place multiple here, so I'll place one at a time. I'll get this one out here first. It's a Photoshop file, so it'll place it. And I will place the next one. But first thing I want to do, you guys, is this. Instead of me placing a bunch of pictures, what we're going to do is we're going to take this picture and turn it into what's called a component, a generic component. Okay, this way, it allows us to have states inside of the components, which are kind of like pages in there. So I'm going to come up with it selected to the HUD and choose Custom Generic Component. And it'll call it State 1. You know, we can name this thing anything we want, um, but I'll just keep it very generic. I'm going to double-click on the picture, and it'll take me in. And you guys can see that we have one state right now, which we can change right here. I want to add more pictures to this. This is kind of like a group. Almost, sort of, <laughs> I guess you could call it. So I'm going to add a bunch of pictures now. So file import, I'll import the other one. And I could do, you know, a ton of pictures here. Let me move this one over. I'm going to use my shift key to do that. And then I'll put one more picture out here. File import, one more picture. And you guys can put just about as many pictures as you want. I'm just keeping it really simple here. Uh, put in three pictures. So I'm using my, um, my shift key to drag this over. And we can align and do all that stuff, but I'll just keep it really simple here. So there's all three of my pictures. Okay, now I'm going to select all three and just kind of move them up a bit so we have room for the arrows. And what I'll do is we're all done here, so I'll get out. I'll click on Slideshow or hit Escape, and we've got our pictures out there. Okay, so you can see this is the component itself. All right. Now I want to put a button out here that will say, let's go from one component to another to another, or excuse me, from one state to another to another. So I'm going to put a couple uh, buttons out here, go Next and Previous. So you can draw these in Illustrator or Photoshop and bring them in, but I'm just going to draw them in here. So I come up top. Here's all the drawing tools. I'll create a nice little, I don't know, triangle here. And for some reason, the drawing tool's a little bit small here. Let me do that. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I drew that. Hold, held the shift key down, by the way, to get that thing to kind of constrain. I'll put a fill on it. Here's where all your properties are, lower right. You know, I'll do black or something like that. Keep the stroke. Do whatever you want with that, you guys. Make it as pretty or as ugly as you want. And I'm going to make a button out of it. Okay, We just want functionality. You can pretty it up if you want to. So I've got it selected. Come up to, to the HUD, and we'll say, let's make it a button. Now, we're going to tell it. When you click on this button, I want to go to the next state, basically. Okay, So we're going to go to the next one over here. So with the button selected, I'll go to Add Interaction. Click on that. It's going to say, OK, we're going to transition to a state. And it's going to say, create a new state or set up transitions. All right, So we need to make sure that we have some set up here. Now, we just have one state in that main component, so we need to add some others, sort of like pages, so that these can slide or move around. So I'll click Cancel here. we got our button made. Let me zoom out a bit so you guys can see this again. I'll go back to this main component here, and I'll double-click on it to get in there. And you'll see, like I said, we only have one state. So let me zoom out a bit further so you guys can see all the pictures. We're going to duplicate this state. So we're going to make another state. And then what we do is we just move the pictures over to, you know, to what we want them to look like in the next state. So I'll select all the pictures. I usually will drag a guide out here so we can tell where to go. 
And I'll just drag these over. There's a ton of ways to do this, you guys. Drag it over. I could be pixel perfect with this. I'm not being pixel perfect. You know, I could get out there and measure it and whatever else, but I'm just trying to get this done. There we go. All right, now let's make another state here. So I'll duplicate the state, state three, and I'll just drag them over. This is what I want it to look like in state three. So we're just setting up what we want it to look like in each state. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to ex ex exit out of here, so I'll hit escape. Come back here. You guys can see we got a big slideshow right there. I'm going to click back on the button. Come back over to Add Interaction on the right here in the Interactions panel. We got a transition to state, and you can now choose a state. So we're going to say, okay, we are in state one, let's say, when this picture is showing. I want it to go to state two, which means move the pictures over. So choose state two. Now, these buttons are going to show up every time. So we can't have it just go to state two. We've got to say, when you're on state one, go to state two. I'll click OK. Now we'll add another one, another action here, which says, OK, once we get to state two, once it slides these pictures over and we see what's in state two, I want this button then to be able to go to state three, which means show this one in the center. So I'll come over here to the right, click Add Interaction again, and say, let's go to state three when we're in state two. Does that make sense? So we've got several uh, interactions out here. So let me move this down a little bit, OK? All right, let's test this out. I'll save it. And I'll hit Control Return or Command Return, Command Enter. It'll take it out, preview it for us. You guys can also go in the File menu, I believe, to preview. And you guys can see there it's cut off by the artboard. I'll click on the arrow, and there we go. We're just going to the next state, next state. So all we're doing is this, this is kind of, we're kind of faking this, you guys. We're basically saying go from page to page, basically. These are sub pages. So every time I click this, it just goes to the next page, so to speak. All right, let's put another button in there. Let me zoom in so you guys can see. Another button in the left over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one, you guys, and copy it. So I'll copy and paste and drag it over. Now the problem is I can't just interact with this one or change it because these are basically the same button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this one, and then we'll make it a button again. And it's not going to make much sense, I know, but it's almost like these two are the same button, okay? So I'll right-click on this one. You guys can revert the component to artwork. It's now just a triangle. I'll go in and rotate it. So I'll go up to the rotate tool up here. This is a transform rather. And I'll just rotate it around. Make it a button again. So up to the HUD, make it a button. I could change again. I'm not even going over this, but we could go over and change the appearance of this, make it pretty, you know, up over down states, etc. Now I'm going to add interaction. So I'm going to say with the button selected, let's say let's go to state one when you're in state two. Click OK. Another interaction, let's go to state two when you're in state three. I'll click OK. Now, let's try it out. I'll save it. And this is not going to be looping, you guys. We're not going to have it do that, okay? Because it's going to go from one, you know, to two to three and back. So once we get the picture out there, I'll just click on the arrows. And you guys can see it's not even centered. I need to do that. Right, left. Beautiful. Okay, at least these are kind of working. Now, let's go back. And let's set up just a few more things. Let me first of all move these over a little bit. I could use alignments and that sort of thing to get all these centered, but I'm not going to do that right now. All right, now I'm going to click on a component here and then double click on it again. And one thing you guys will notice, if you use Flash Catalyst, you're probably getting used to the timelines down here, the state transitions they're called. So we've got three states here. We've got state one, state two, state three. And whenever we say go to state two or state three, all it does is pretty much move all the pictures over like in a split second. But you'll see down here that we actually have the ability to pull that out, to actually take the transition and make it longer. So we're going to say, you know what, when we go from state one to state two, I want you to take all three of these pictures, and I'm going to use my shift key to select all three of them, and we're going to have it happen in about half a second, let's say. So roughly there. Now if you guys don't see the second mark, you can move this little thing around, the little slider, this is your timeline slider, to make it uh, shorter or longer. So that's state one to state two. We're going to stay from state two to state three. Same thing. You guys, we're going to have these so that they actually move and they slide over. Otherwise, it's instantaneous. And then we're going to go the other way. We're going to say from state two to state one. Shift click between these. I know it's kind of tedious, believe me. State three to state two. Shift click between them. And I think I got them all now. I usually miss one or two, but I'll save that. I'll go take a look at it, and let's see what we get. And here we go out in the browser. 
And you guys can now see we have the slide. So it's saying it's taking a half a second to go from state one to state two, which literally means moving or sliding across. So that's kind of cool. Okay, now let's add a couple more things here. I'm going to close this up, come back. Let me zoom out a bit. Now suppose that we want to have, I showed you guys earlier that we had that like fading in effect and that sort of thing. Okay, where it, it was really kind of transparent and small, and then they got bigger as they faded in. There's tons of things we can do with this, you guys. And I don't want to go too far here. The video is going to get way too long. Um, but I do want to show you a couple other things we can do. First and foremost, we're in this custom component. You guys can see right here, I'm in the component. So I'm double clicked on it. And if I come up to modify, you guys are going to see something called auto size component bounce. Now that pretty much means let's go about the size of all the pictures, including all states. So as they shift around, we're going to include all of it. And the way to tell what I'm talking about here, you guys, if I hit escape or double click outside, you'll see this blue border. Okay, that's the size of the whole thing. Okay, the whole component, which means it's going to show all the way to the edge of the artboard. Suppose I want the slideshow only to show around the edges of the picture. So I want just one picture to show, not the half of another picture. Here's how we can do that. If I double click in here, we're inside the component. If I come up to modify, you guys are going to see auto size. I want to turn that off. And then I come under modify, you guys are going to see clip to component bounce. If I turn that on, it's going to say, oh, okay, well, here are the pictures for this component. You're going to see these little like lines. If I hover over one of the corners here, I can click and drag. You got to be really on it. Click and drag and say, let's clip it so this only this part of the entire component shows. All right, I'll save it. I'll go try it out. I'm doing control enter or command enter. You guys can also come under file and there's the run project right there. It'll take a couple seconds. It'll bring it out. And of course, you guys got to be pick, picky about your pictures. You got to be careful how big they are. So check this out. So you guys can see. There we go. And if I had no gap between the pictures, they would be instantaneous. They would just be sliding one after another. So that's being able to crop something like that. Now, last quick thing. I know this is getting kind of a long video. Um, what we can do is something like this. If I go to each picture, let me zoom in a bit. Let's say I go to this picture. What I can do is I can actually make a smaller version of this and then have it grow as it comes into the center. That's what the, the one I showed you originally does. So let me show you what, what I'm talking about. So if I click on one of the pictures, we're going to make one of these a component. So every time you guys want to have like some kind of other animation or some, it's almost like a sub timeline happening. You're going to make that thing a component. So I select this picture, come up top, choose custom generic component. It's going to say, well, if there's any actions on it, they might get deleted. I'll click OK. That's fine. You got to be careful that interactions didn't go away if you had some. I didn't. And then what I'll do is I'll double click on this. Okay, now you can see it's a state one. I'm going to call this, so I'll double click on state one up here. I'll call this big. And what we'll do is we'll make a duplicate of it and call it small and make it small. So I'll duplicate state, state two, uh, one here, rather. Excuse me, I'll call it small. I'll click on the picture. I'm going to use, um, and I always screw this up, you guys, but shift alt or shift option on Mac. Resize from the center, make it a little smaller. And I'm also going to change the opacity, you guys. So come to opacity and make it like 50% or whatever. Make it some lower. Okay, now there's another thing I've got to do here, you guys. If I click on the big state here, you guys are going to see we've got a little problem. There's some kind of weird cropping going on. If I go to modify, you want to turn off auto size component bounds real quick. And then what we're going to do is we're going to see what, what happens here. I'm going to click under modify. Let's escape. Press escape. Get out. You guys will see right there. It's still big. Okay, what we did was we basically made a smaller animation that says big to small. Now, nothing's going to happen here, you guys, but I want to show you what we need to do next. If I click on this picture, you're going to see that we have two different uh, states in there, big and small. We can tell it what to look like or which state to show initially. So if I click on this picture, look over here in the properties, you guys can see that we have state. I can tell it to be small to start with. So it's going to say, oh, okay, we'll be small to start with. I'm going to save this and go look at it and see what happens. Now, it's not going to be as, you know, as good or as nice as uh, the one I showed you in the beginning, but you'll see what I'm talking about. So you can see the crop went away. That's so annoying, the component crop. We need to redo that. But you can see that right there. If I click, notice how it actually got big and small really fast. Okay? I need to fix that. So let me go back. I'll double-click on this component. 
And you guys will see right down here now, you're going to see it says from big to small and small to big. What we need to do is we need to make sure it doesn't happen instantaneously. So I'll shift click on each one of these, stretch it out to maybe a half second, go to small to big, stretch these out, I'll shift click on them, stretch them out just so it takes longer to happen. Whoops, don't move them. Grab the little circles here, guys. All right, there we go. Save it. I'll go take a look at it. Control return or command return. You can do it. Come on, little one. It's you guys. Also, all about these components um, and and these um, uh, the states or the pages. So let me click and look what it does, you guys. That's kind of cool, huh? So what you could do is you could go to each picture, make it a component. You can have it fade. You can have it grow. You can have it twist, twirl. You know, do whatever you guys want. But like I said, I would just go to each one of these pictures and make it a custom generic component, add another state to it, and then make sure that my timeline, I've got some time between them, and I say move, you know, whatever I want it to do, basically. But that's it, you guys. And the last thing I would make sure of is once I'm in the component here, I want to make sure that I go to modify. It says clip to component bounds, but you want to make sure that it's actually doing it, okay? So if you take a look out here, you should be able to see that there should be the black. There we go. It reset it. So let me just grab these again, make it small again, save it, go look at it. I'm going to control return or command return. It should get the clipping, hopefully. And there we go. So like I said, each picture you can do that too. So that's just the basics of a slideshow, you guys. There's a lot of other things we can do. And I might do another tip that just takes this a little bit further. But that should hopefully get you guys started.